So today I'm talking about a P0506 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0506 code? Well, it's an idle air control system, RPM lower than expected. And what does this mean? Well, fuel injected engines have what's called a throttle body that basically controls all the air going into the engine. And every time the gas pedal's pressed, there's a butterfly inside of there that'll open up depending on where the gas pedal's at. And this allows the computer to control the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. But when the gas pedal is let go of and that butterfly plate inside of there closes, the computer will take over and start to use what's called an idle air control valve. And here's a real basic overview of how the idle air control valve works. There could be different designs and things like this, but basically the idle air control valve is gonna be on the throttle body. There'll be two ports on either side of that butterfly plate. And the computer will be controlling a valve inside of the idle air control is that opens or closes to let air go into the engine and keep the engine idling correctly. And so basically when this butterfly plate is closed, the computer will start letting air go into the engine and it'll control the idle with this idle air control valve. And so when you get a P0506 code, the computer's seeing an issue with this idle air control valve. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooting no why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0506 code? Well, a very common cause of this code is going to be that the throttle body got really dirty and it just needs to be cleaned up. These throttle bodies in around the butterfly plate and things like this, they can get really dirty. And quite often, if you just clean them up, it could get things working again. There's some throttle body cleaner that you can buy and use. And you can use like a little toothbrush or things like this. And you can get inside of there and clean it up real good. And quite often, that'll solve the problem. The idle air control valve can also get all dirty and clogged up. And the ports going to it can get clogged up and things like this. So it can also be removed, cleaned up, put back in. And quite often that's all that those need is that they just need to be all cleaned up and get all the dirt and grime and everything out of them and all that buildup. Of course, it's also possible that that idle air control valves fail and just needs to be replaced. There's some different ways you go about testing it. There's some good YouTube videos on that. Also keep in mind that the wiring going to it, if there's any issues with the wiring going to the idle air control valve, like an open short, anything like this, then the computer's not going to be able to control it and that's going to cause problems. So be sure to keep that in mind. Another possible cause of this code is going to be that somehow the air is getting into the engine and going around the throttle body because all the air should be going through the throttle body. And so and somehow if there's a vacuum leak or an intake leak where the air is getting in around that throttle body, then that's going to cause issues and it can throw this code. And that would mean something like a hose disconnected or bad valve cover gaskets or anything like this. There's some different methods for trying to find a leak. Some mechanics will have like a spray. They'll start up the engine and then they'll go around and wherever they think the leak might be, they'll spray the spray. And if the engine idle changes, then they know they found the leak. Another method is the smoke machine method, where basically you feed smoke into the air intake, and then wherever the smoke comes out, you'll know that you found a leak. And so there's some different methods for trying to find a vacuum leak, but the next thing that can cause this is that there's gonna be some kind of vacuum leak or intake air leak going on on the engine. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing an engine with the P0506 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.